Thank you for being here to testify uh, today and answer questions. Um, I just want to follow up a little bit on the line of questioning we've already had. And, you know, we know China is the third uh, largest export market. That's where the opportunities are for American companies to do well. But it's pretty clear that the Chinese government is not taking seriously its responsibility to trade f freely and trade fairly. And it's our hardworking American innovators that cannot make the most of the opportunities to engage in the opportunity in China to trade because of these regulatory obstacles, the subsidies, the IP uh, protection rights that are not protected, indigenous innovation, uh, the service sector restrictions, the currency uh, misalignment, and on and on and on. Um, I, I do have a question uh, that is directed at about the medical device industry. And the medical device industry is very concerned about the price controls that are being proposed by the Chinese government. And this is an industry where we are still a net exporter, where there is a lot of innovation happening here in the United States. And what do you view are the actions that we will take to make sure that we will stave off, uh, I guess, the Chinese government's proposal in this area that uh, is going to strictly control the pricing of imported medical devices? This includes devices that are manufactured and invented and made here in the United States, especially since these same devices in China would be subject to less stringent price controls uh, under this proposed policy. Mr. Ambassador. Thanks, Mr. Paulson. We have two, I think, serious issues on the medical device front. You raise one, and that's price controls. Um, over the past, you know, number of years, China has been poised to impose price controls on, the, on medical devices. We have been successful um, over the past five years in staving them off. In August, China released a proposal that suggested that it will soon um, implement price controls in this sector. We are working very hard to uh, encourage the Chinese government to put a pause on that so they don't do so. The other issue that we're working on in the medical device sector has to do with redundant regulatory requirements where um, right now China is requiring that in order to get approval in China's market for a new medical device, it has to have prior approval from our own FDA. Um, and that causes unreasonable delay in our view, and it's another priority area that we're working on in, med in the medical device area. Secretary, any further comment on that here? This is just an area that uh, USTR takes the lead, but we work across the administration in support of uh, this uh, uh, on a short list of priorities. Do you feel that, uh, Mr. Ambassador, do you feel that you have the tools necessary to focus attention on this product? So if there's been a five-year delay and now there's been a new proposal in August and that you're hoping to have them pause again, do you feel that you have the tools necessary to make sure that we are getting their attention on this? We, together with the Commerce Department, have been really vigorous in terms of, of, of medical on the medical device front. Um, we just had a, um, um, a, an interaction with our counterpart um, just the other week where Under Secretary Sanchez and I both pushed this issue um, with our Chinese counterparts, and we will continue to do so. And, and just one follow-up question is that uh, We've heard, I think, increasing concerns from the American business community that, you know, supports export opportunities. But, you know, they're concerned about backtracking on the past improvements that we've made with China opening up its economy. Do you believe that uh, China has been backtracking on the improvements that it made once in opening up its uh, economy? I think our general view is after China joined the WTO, there was a, uh, a real push in China to implement its WTO obligations. I think things have slowed down, and we are facing um, new systemic challenges in China that we haven't faced before. That's why we are trying to target our WTO disputes on key strategic and systemic issues um, like, you know, our export restraints case or like the creation of an apparent homegrown monopoly to provide electronic payment services. So I think the issues have become a lot more complex over the years, but, I mean, we're doing, you know, again, moving at all cylinders to, to fight those. Thank you. I yield back, Mr. Chairman.